Hey guys, I just wanted to share my opening strategy for MA Alm. This guide is intended for newer players that are struggling with independence and uh, expanding with MA Alm. I am going to try to simplify this as much as possible to make it easy to understand for everybody. Typically, when I play MA, MA Alm, I like to go with a dormant expander or a dormant pretender god. Sorry. You can expand reliably with the basic units that Alm comes with, but if you really want to push it and try to get as many provinces as possible before turn 12, which we are in turn 12, you can go an Awake Expander God. We do have 21 provinces in total, you, and we did this with this Expander God, Draco Lich. Draco Lich is an excellent Awake Expander Pretender God. Good research, can go in water, has fear, is uh, hard to kill with non-magic weapons, invulnerable trait, and it flies. And it's also pierce resistant. It also has four attacks, one of them being an AoE. And it gives us access, easy access into death. Now, the good thing about this Drago Lich is it has the flying trait, so we can be very selective with our targets as far as what we're attacking so we can choose the easiest and best targets for our awake expander god i would stay away from elephant riders and large packs of barbarians other than that you're pretty much free to go into any province you want um, another option is the thrice horn boar expander pretender god Unfortunately, with this Draco Lich, we only we can only roll uh, growth one, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. You can go, like I said, Thrice Horn Boar and get three growth. But you're going to be somewhat a little bit more limited in, in what you can expand to. We do take scales with this Pretender God. Two order, three productivity, and we take drain three. And the reason we take Drain 3 is to free up some points and because our Master Smiths are unaffected by Drain Scales. So we don't receive a penalty for taking Drain on our research. Units that we're using to expand are Flail Black Infantry, Black Plate Infantry. We choose Flare, Flail because they have two attacks and they gain plus two attack for shields. So it's a good early investment. A lot of uh, factions use shields for their primary chaff unit. And a lot of sacreds have shields. So boils are good versus shields. And we also use the Black Knight. Just a great overall heavy cav unit. Good protection, decent defense, decent attack. Comes with full armor and a shield. You're going to want to set these up as follows you're going to want to set the black plate infantry to sparse line formation hold and attack closest and then you're going to want to set up your black knight infantry in a double line formation or line formation and attack rear and hopefully the black knights will move to the flank of the enemy formation and kill the commander and then the, re the rest of the ar uh, army will rout. Now, you don't need this many Black Knights to expand. You can get away with four or five and this many flails or uh, whatever Black Plate infantry you decide to expand with. But you don't need this many. Usually, it would be four or five Black Knights. Now... M.A. Ulm. Oh, let's go over the magic first. So, I like to go down construction first to get uh, Soldiers of Steel as soon as possible. This is going to grant three protection to all of our infantry and cavalry's uh, armor parts. You unlock that at level four. You're going to need to go down construction anyway, and the construction needs to be a priority for M.A. Ulm because they rely on items. 
Uh, then we're going to go down Conjuration 3, which is going to unlock Summon Earth Power. Now, we need Summon Earth Power to cast um, Soldiers of Steel. This is going to make it so our Master Smiths that roll, uh, that natively roll two with a 20% chance to roll three. It's Summon Earth Power makes it so our two Earth Master Smiths become three, and then we can cast Soldiers of Steel from construction level four. So that's my, that I like to make that a priority with Ohm, because Ohm relies on the units so much. Then I like to go down Evocation to Evocation 3 and unlock Iron Darts, which is kind of like Blade Wind, it, except it's armor piercing and does two times magic damage or uh, two times damage to magic beams. Later on, you can unlock Iron Blizzard at level 6, which you should be unlocking. Our primary mage unit is going to be the Master Smith. Master Smiths come with a forge bonus of plus two, which means items that you get a discount on items, a minus two discount on items. They also have a resource bonus and they produce resources in your, wherever you have them stationed at. You're also going to want to be creating Priest Smith from Alm because they're going to be the ones that are casting Iron Darts and Iron Blizzard. They also have the same perks as the Master Smith. And this Black Priest from Ulm, you're going to want to be focusing on two, just because it's a sacred level two. And you can also recruit these guys and make them as thugs. I, however, prefer the Black Lord as a primary thug unit. But these guys work just as well, too. They're, they're just not on cab, and they have a really good weapon. It comes default, does fatigue damage. So M.A. Ohm relies on items. Um, and I have a list of items that you should be crafting once you have access to them. Unfortunately, the Dominion 6 Mod Inspector is not working for me right now, or not working properly anyway. So I brought up Dominion's 5 Mod Inspector. Now I'm unsure on the level that they unlock some of the items, because they could be wrong because this is the Dominion's 5 Mod Inspector. But a lot of these items you unlock at a relatively low construction level. So, so first, here's the first item, Bracers of Protection. These are going to be used on your Black Lord Thugs. They provide protection for head and body. If you decide to go Draco Lich, you're going to have access to Horror Helmet with the, uh, if you have the Death Gems which you're going to need to scan for once you're done expanding with your Draco Lich or trade for them. This Horror Helmet provides plus 5 fear. You could put these on your Black Lords and it's going to greatly and it's going to scare away uh, enemy units and it's going to greatly increase your survivability for your Black Lords. Dorven Hammer staple for MA Ohm. They have a forge bonus of two, so if you stack this with the Master Smith that already has a forge bonus of two, that's forge bonus of four. So you can craft a five gem item for one gem if you have these equipped. You have to have these if you're playing MA all. So be prepared to get like, I don't know, to begin with, I would craft three or four of them just to start off. Owl Quill, you're going to need this as well. Our Master Smiths have a chance to roll air. I believe it's 20% chance. And you're going to need to spam this 
uh, owl quill once you have access to air and you equip these on your master smiths and they provide a research bonus of plus six so you get more research skull staff if you have access to death which we do uh, gives you a magic bonus thistle mace is a uh, for uh, nature and it also provides a nature bonus vine shield is a staple in our thug production vine shields one of the best shields in the game you need nature too to create it and it entangles the surrounding surrounding enemy units so uh, we equip these on our Black Lords to help with survivability. Skull Mentor for plus 14 research bonus. So, if, so we have access to death so we can craft these. If you have access to water, um, you can use Frostbrand. It's a really good single-handed weapon and it does area of effect damage so we're going to be replacing the weapon that comes on our black lords with this weapon girdle of might is another staple item for ma ohm this provides us most importantly with the reinvigoration uh uh, uh or uh, stat, sorry. And it regenerates our fatigue. Firebrand is going to be uh, our staple weapon for our Black Lords. Once you have access to Firebrand, you don't need to worry about Frostbrand. Frostbrand requires you have water access, and that's kind of hard to get with M.A. Alm. So, we want to focus on Firebrand as our primary uh, weapon. It's basically the same thing as Frostbrand, except it's fire. Flame Helmet for the plus fire to magic bonus. Kind of expensive. And Earth Boots. Earth Boots are going to allow our native Master Smiths that come with native uh earth plus two it's going to automatically boost us to plus three and if we get lucky we'll have a plus three master smith if we roll earth on the on the random and it's going to boost us to plus four so we'll be able to cast all the high-end earth spells with summon earth power with these equipped now to get nature Access, you're going to want to um, either trade for nature gems early on, and you're also going to want to uh, recruit nature independent mages. If you don't, if you can't trade for nature gems because you're playing single player, you're just going to have to scan the provinces with your independent nature mages. Vine Shield is really important for our thugs, and in my opinion, it's one of the best shields that in the game for thugs. So you're really going to want to make sure you're you're out there recruiting independent mages that have nature and scanning uh, provinces for the nature gems. Most of the time, the independent mages can be found in forest provinces, so make those a priority forgot to show the bless for the awake expander pretender god draco lich i chose stygian flesh because it's going to make it so our sacred units which are our master smiths and priest smith our main battle mages and casters become a little resistant to non-magical damage so hopefully if the enemy is firing arrows we don't uh, die from you know a stray arrow to the head or something you can go on dying command which provides a undead leadership bonus for your commanders if you plan on uh, summoning a lot of undead with this pretender god but 
that's pretty much it guys i hope you learned something and thanks for watching